on page three of the formula booklet, you'll find the compound angle formulas, okay? And these are what I'm talking about. Now they look, at first glance, absolutely horrible. In one of the earlier videos, I introduced you to the one with tan, okay? Um, so we looked at an example using that. But these are very, very useful. And from them, uh, we can find exact values of sine of 105 degrees, for example. And we can also build the double angle formulas, which we'll do in a couple of videos' time. So how they work um, is that if you have two angles, theta and phi, and if you are adding them together, for example, then sine of theta plus phi is the same as sine of theta times cos of phi plus cos of theta times sine of phi. So think of these symbols as if this is plus, this is plus. So think of it as like the top row and the bottom row, plus, plus, minus, minus. And then if you were looking at the cosine of the angle, then you'd have plus, minus. So if that's a plus, that's a minus. If that's a minus, that's a plus, and vice versa. And in a similar way for tan. So it's best if we... I'm not going to show you where these come from. Um, you can look that up, and there, there will likely be videos on that um, on YouTube, but I'm not going to show you where they come from. We're just going to go straight in and use them. So I'm going to work with this example. Using appropriate triangles, find the exact value of sine of 105 degrees. Now, one thing that we really need to note is that 105 can be got from adding 60 and 45 together. So what we're doing is we're effectively finding a theta and phi. This is my theta, and that's my phi. Now, why have I picked 60 and 45? Well, that is because these were two angles, 60 and 45, that were a part of the two triangles that I told you you needed to learn. So the two triangles, to remind you of what they looked like, You've got 1, 2, root 3. Now that's the shorter side, so this is the larger angle. So that's 60 degrees and that's 30 degrees. And the other triangle is 1, 1, root 2. And both of these angles would be 45 degrees. Okay, now I haven't drawn it very accurately, but it doesn't matter. So. Sine of 60 plus 45 is going to be equal to, if theta is the 60 and phi is the 45, we'll have sine of 60 times cos of 45 plus, because that's a plus, cos of 60 sine of 45. So I need to work out what the sine 60, cos 45, cos 60, and sine 45 are from these two triangles, and then substitute them into this. So sine of 60 okay, is opposite over hypotenuse, so root 3 over 2. Cos of 60 is the adjacent over the hypotenuse, so 1 half. Sine of 45 is opposite over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. And cos of 45 is the adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2 as well. So I can now substitute these into this. So we have sine of 60 is root 3 over 2. Cos of 45 is 1 over root 2. Cos of 60 is 1 half. And sine of 45 is 1 over root 2. 
So multiplying through, we've got root 3 times 1, so root 3 over 2 times root 2, plus 1 times 1 over 2 times root 2. And so, root 3 plus 1 over 2 root 2 is the exact value of sine of 105. Now, you could um, rationalise the denominator here. So, you can multiply top and bottom by root 2. OK, thinking back to uh, core 1. And we're going to get root 3 times root 2, so that's root 6. And 1 times root 2, so just root 2, divided by 2 times root 2 times root 2, so that's 2 times 2, which is 4. So it would be a quarter of root 6 plus root 2. OK? So either this answer or rationalise the denominator, that answer. OK? And that's how we can use the uh, compound angle formulae to work out exact values.